Hello and welcome to another video. In this one I'm going to talk about how I use user scripts in order to customize any website. So how often have you been to a website and you're like, man, this site would be like slightly better if the developers would have done this little thing or put this button here, change the font size here, or maybe I want to, you know, refresh this page to get election results faster or like, I, I don't know, anything like that. Um, the cool thing is you can write user scripts directly in your browser to achieve any of those things. So I'm gonna show you an example of some of the stuff that I've done with user scripts and how you could go about doing this for yourself. So let's jump into this. There we go. Um, and I'm gonna be using the Tamper Monkey extension for Chrome for this. So this this is Tamper Monkey. Um, it's based on an API called Grease Monkey, which is originally in Firefox. I usually use Firefox, so this is the one that I usually use, but I use Chrome for streaming and, and videos, so. Uh, but we're going to be installing Tamper Monkey. Uh, you know, Grease Monkey as an API has been a, a thing for a long time, so there's a bunch of like built-in um, functions there that make writing user scripts easier. I'm basically just going to show you some vanilla user scripts for today, though. Okay, so once you have this extension installed, uh, go to whatever website you want to customize. In my case, I'm going to have kind of a silly example. We're going to go to. Uh, a Pokemon Friends Safari website. If you if you don't know this about me, I really like Pokemon. I spent a lot of time you know, catching shiny Pokemon and other stuff. And one of the things that I thought was really cool about the sixth generation was Friends Safari, which uh, there's this nice subreddit that's organized together, and you know people are uh, advertising their you know Friends Safaris, and you can add them and stuff. And I don't know, it's kind of cool. But uh, I was looking for particular types of Pokemon at, at a point in time, and so I wrote some user scripts to you know, refresh this, uh, actually I, I would use slash new so that I had, you know, the newest friends for us. I'd refresh this page and try and find certain characters using this. Um, so I'm gonna write, show you some user scripts that I might make it, uh, that I might write to make it easier to accomplish that. And so once you have Tamper Monkey installed, you'll go here and you'll be able to create a new script. And so the first script that we're gonna create is, uh, we're gonna call it uh, refresh. This is what I was talking about earlier, where you might want to, you know, refresh your page repeatedly or something. Um, and the neat thing about user scripts is uh, you can filter based on a particular URL. So you can run the script, you know, just on some specific URL. Like, I'm just going to run it on the Friend Safari um, subreddit here. And you can write whatever JavaScript code you want. So if you want to, you know, add buttons to the page or do something, style it or something, you can write code here. Uh, the first user script I'm going to write is I'm just going to make it so it auto refreshes the page because uh, I don't want to keep manually refreshing to see the updated list of, of people and their Pokemon stuff. So we're going to do window dots, window dots, set timeout, and we're going to do window dot location dot reload. I think that's how you reload. Uh, and let's do this every 60 seconds. That seems reasonable. Uh, let's actually do it faster than that, just so um, you can scatter some other user scripts here. Uh, let's actually do it faster than that so that we can see the result of this in a video. So let's set this to five seconds. Um, once you create a user script, you have to refresh your page at least once for it to apply. Um, and then we'll see if I highlight this, we should see in a few seconds that it will reload this page. Yep, so you can see that the reloader is working. Let's put that back to 60 so it's not too abusive here and I don't get, you know, banned or whatever reason. Uh, but that's like one example that you might want. Uh, let's say that I was looking for this character, which is Spiritomb. Uh, we can actually look at this in the inspector and see that Spiritomb has a special class and that's how uh, you can see there's this Flare Spiritum class, and that's how this actually works behind the scenes. There's a there's a special CSS backgroundy thing here going on there. Uh, so let's make another user script. So I'll create a new user script, and we're gonna call this one Highlight Pokemon. And I'm gonna create a uh, a style element that allows me to style that particular thing there. So let's do. Uh, let I don't know. Let style equals document dot create element style and style dot inner text. Is that what it is? No, I think it's text content. Text content equals. Let's write some CSS. Flare. What was the Pokemon I wanted to target? 
Spirit Tomb. Spirit Tomb. Uh, let's say we want to do, you know, outline uh, 5px, or let's make it red. Solid 5px. I think that's the right syntax. <laughs> we'll see in a second. And then we'll do document.body.appendchild style. I think that's all we need to do to make that work. Let's see. Yeah, cool. So now you can see that, you know, we get this nice red outline around uh, Spirit Tomb, so I don't need to, like, scroll through and, like, manually look at each Pokemon. I can just look for a red outline and notice, oh, this is the one that I want. And maybe we also want to target War Turtle, and so we would go here and uh, edit this script and add another Pokemon there. So you can say Flare Spirit Tomb or Flare War Turtle. And then, you know, refresh our page or let the auto refresh happen. You can see now we've we've highlighted a couple other ones. Oh, well, there's another war turtle up here. Cool. Anyway. Um, but yeah, that's that's kind of the example. And you can, you know, kind of go wild with this. If you want some more, you know, inspiration for other things that you might write a user script for. Another one that I wrote a user script for is whenever I open Discord. I, I use Discord in the browser because I'm weird. Uh, but whenever you open Discord, if you go to discord.gg or discord.com, there's this really annoying, like, open Discord button. It would be really nice if, you know, it auto-clicked this button. Well, the thing is, you can auto-click that button. And so I've, I've actually written a user script. Let me grab it from Chrome or from Firefox. Uh, <laughs> it's called uh, Discord Plus. <laughs> so you can see if we create a new user script, uh, this is the one that I have in Chrome. So when I, when I load discord.com or discord.gg, it just redirects me straight to a logged in Discord. So that's, you know, kind of a nice little, a little redirector here. I'm not going to actually show you my Discord. <laughs> um, but anyway, things, things like that are a nice little, you know, way to use user scripts. Oh, this one's actually a fun one. I actually did a video on this particular ship it user script. So I will, I'll link that one in the description. Oh, it looks like I had a different Discord redirect. Discord has changed how the redirects work. Um, I actually use one for my Twitch chat so that I can mark this spot in my chat so I know where I am. Uh, but I actually, I have a bunch of these and um, hopefully you can take inspiration from some of these. But anyway, if you have additional things you haven't explained, leave a comment below or reach out to me on the various platforms. But thank you all for watching and I will see you in the next one.